Hello and welcome to Home Assistant Tips by Larry. Before we get started, we are going to assume you already have a working instance of Home Assistant and you already have ESP Home installed and working and you know how to flash a microcontroller with ESP Home. Today we are going to show you two sensors we have talked about in previous videos and one we haven't. The three sensors are a thin film force sensor that you saw in my bed occupancy sensor video, a VL53LOX time of flight sensor you saw in a previous video, and the PIR sensor. These three sensors can change the bed occupancy sensor to a very smart bed system that rivals anything I have yet seen. It not only can tell when you lay down on the bed, but it can also tell when you sit on the edge of the bed too. As I trigger different sensors, you can see how this system works, each sensor doing its part. Now I am going to switch to my Home Assistant screen. The VL53LOX sensor needs to be mounted about 15 inches above the mattress of your bed and about 8 inches from the edge of the bed that you get out of bed on. The PIR sensor needs to be placed under your bedside table so it can detect your feet. Now I am going to cover the time of flight sensor and press on the force sensor simulating setting down on the bed. As you can see, Home Assistant detects this and does not trigger my sleeping helper. Now I am going to remove my hand from the time of flight sensor, simulating laying down in the bed. After about 30 seconds, this will trigger my sleeping helper, which in turn will in real life turns off my lights, locks my doors, turns on my humidifier if the humidity is below 50% and other tasks we may want. I have set the delay for the triggering for this long so you can have time to get under the covers and still have light to see by. This can be changed in the automation. As you can see, the home assistant toggle helper has turned on. Now I will remove my hand from the force sensor simulating getting out of bed. I will also move my hand in front of the PIR sensor simulating your feet touching the floor. As you can see, the bed light strip turns on, lighting up your side of the bed so you can go do whatever you got out of bed to do. Now after going to the bathroom, I will simulate returning to the bedroom and sitting down again on the bed by again covering the time of flight sensor and pressing down on the force sensor. As you can see, Home Assistant detects this but does not turn off the bed light strip as it knows you aren't laying down yet. Now I will simulate laying down in bed and after a delay to again let you get under the covers, Home Assistant will turn off the bed light strip for you. As you can see by this demonstration, this adding of sensors greatly increases the usefulness of the bed occupancy sensor. I have used this for over a week testing the system out and refining the automations and it now works extremely well. The automations I used in this video will be in my Discord channel as the code is too long to enter in this video's description. My Discord channel link will be in the video description. The code to get the sensors working in ESP Home will be linked in the video description. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe to this channel so we can continue to make these videos and as always if you have any questions please ask them in the comments section. See you next time.